the boy Breezy done did it again, guys, with a new album, Royalty. Guys, I, I, I'm just, let me just tell y'all something about Mr. Chris Brown. Every time you don't expect Chris Brown to slay, he slays. I mean, last year he slayed with X. And I'm going to tell y'all something. I love last year's album, X. X is still, I still listen to that album. I still love Drunk Text and Drunk Text and his mosh. I be drunk texting, drunk texting, drunk texting you. Drunk texting, drunk texting you. If it's in the toes, then you think, oh. Y'all, I still love his album from last year. Guys, but this album right here is just one of his best albums. Like, he just slays every album. He gets better and better and better and better. I mean, I just love every song on this album, guys. I just, I just, you just, you just gotta love Chris Brown. Okay, that boy is a bad ass entertainer. For one, that boy can sing and dance. He got the whole entire package. Michael Jackson is his idol. Me and Chris Brown got that in the comment because Michael Jackson was my idol. Guys, I just I'm just telling I'm just telling you something. I am a diehard Chris Brown fan, okay? I've been a big fan of him for a long time. I'm about following all his music. I love all his just about almost every last album that this man has came out with. This album right here is just probably one of his most best albums because he is dedicating it to Miss Royalty, his daughter. And, guys, she is just so adorable. Okay, I really, really like it. The song Royalty on this on this album is amazing, guys. That is just little more royalty, number 14. Don't even get me started. I just think that that is just a very, very beautiful album. I mean, a very, very beautiful song, but this is just a good album. I mean, it got cut after cut after cut after cut. It was probably maybe one song I didn't really feel too much, and that was number two, Fine By Me. Okay, but uh, uh, Zero was a nice song, too. Maybe maybe it was like two songs. I really didn't feel that much. Zero was okay to me. That was not my best song on an album. A lot of people love Zero. They play that song like crazy on the radio, and Fine By Me. Uh, but but when, but when we get into wrist, tip, folks, folks, tip. Oh, he just got cut. That's number three of the album. Okay, but but first we're gonna start with number one, back to sleep. I'm a you back to sleep. Who says that? Oh my God. Okay, he just came in with the camp with the come through with back to sleep. I just think that that's just the most nastiest ass song. On this album, I mean, he got a lot of nasty songs on this album, but that's just j -j 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 that song right there is just like whoa. Like, he really went in on that. Fine by me, y'all know I said I wasn't really for that. Wrist, but that beat is just cold. Chris, boom, Hey, that's just one of them TF songs. You gotta listen to that when you getting ready to go out. I'm definitely feeling wrist. That's that, that I love that song. Make Love was just an old school Chris Brown flavor. It actually had a, a little '90s vibe on it that, that I was feeling. I was definitely feeling Make Love. That just had a very very old school sound from Chris Brown's exclusive album. It, that sound like that would have been on exclusive. Okay, that was just giving me exclusive for some reason. Liquor. Now, that's just one of the best songs on the album. There's something in this liquor. The air is getting thicker. Do, 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 do. I love liquor. That, that's just all I want is you. I mean, Chris Brown went off on that. I mean, he was giving vocal slayage on that song. Okay, I said Zero wasn't my favorite. Anyway. Featuring um, Taylor Parks. Okay, I don't know who that is, but I was definitely feeling this song because you didn't think that it started off kind of jing, 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 jing. You didn't think it was going to come with a cold ass epic beat. Dun, 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 dun. It just had a, a lot of different on and off type sound of stuff on the song. But I loved it. I, I liked that anyway. Anyway was 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 the jam. Picture me rolling. I mean, when I'm telling you, that just got the uh, uh, old school '90s flavor to it. I think he got a video to the song. I didn't see it yet, but Picture Me Rolling is just one another one of my favorites on this album that I'm really feeling. It just got a nice beat to it. Who's gonna nobody? Y'all know he did his little Keith Sweat. He killed this song. I mean, this was just. 
This is just one of the best songs. I mean, he was giving vocal sledge on this song. I mean, that boy was singing to the gods, for real. For real. He was snapping on that. Discover was just, I want to discover your love. I just, I love that song. I just think that that's a good song. Little Bit. Oh my God! I mean, he just going after cut, after cut, after cut. A little bit. It was just a very, very nice song. I was feeling proof. Kind of reminded me of popping a little bit on his very first album, self-titled from two thousand and five, y'all. I was just getting a little bit of popping proof. I think is just a little bit dedicated to his daughter, saying this is proof that this is my child. I believe that's what he is saying. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm definitely feeling it. It was just. Boom, it got a nice cold ass little beat to it. It kind of reminded me. It was like a new age popping a little bit. It kind of had me doing a little popping. Just had a little popping on that. I was feeling it. No filter was just a, 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 a old school sounding type song, but with a new age flavor to it. I was definitely feeling it. Little more royalty. I mean, he was just going in. Royalty is just the most beautiful song on the album. He dedicated it definitely to his daughter. I was definitely feeling it. I just think that that's the most personal song on his album because he loves his baby girl. And I really, really like the fact that he dedicated this entire album to his daughter. Not the set songs, just this song in particular. I think this is just the most important song on the album because he just speaks a lot about how he sees his, how he wakes up and, 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 and his daughter puts a smile on his face. And royalty is just such a beautiful name for a baby girl. I just really, really like it. Day one. He's just talking about the girl he with has been his day one. He is, She is ride or die chick. Y'all know, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm sizzling. I'm definitely feeling that song. I was definitely feeling it. It was just a great song. I really like the beat. Blow It In The Wind is just a song. You just take all your problems away. I was definitely feeling these beats. Uh, cut after cut after cut on this album. I mean, he just got some cuts on here. Then you get to number 17, which is K. Love the beat. The beat, the beat, the beat. The boy is singing his ass off on every song. I just think that this is his best right now. I know I said that last year. I said that last year. I'm saying it again this year. Because every time this boy drops an album, he never fails. That is rare, okay? Chris Brown is going to be a legend in the next five years. That boy is going to be the king. I'm just saying, because he's been around for a long time. It's been over 10 years now that since this boy's been in the music industry. It's been over a decade since Chris Brown has been in the music industry. We've seen him go from ups and downs, the Rihanna situation, in and out of jail, and he's still here. So... Then you got the last song featuring Future, y'all. Know what I'm getting ready to say. I guess Future did all right with this. I'm not no big Future fan, but I was definitely feeling the fact that Future and Chris Brown did a song together. I'm sure this is not their first time doing a song together, but you did it. Just had a nice little trap sound to it. Amazing. I mean, he got a lot of trap sounds. He got a, a, a maybe like three or four love songs. But I, this is a song. This is an album that you have to play over and over and over. Chris Brown is doing amazing. Guys, please buy more than one copy. I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed. Team Breezy, stand the hell up. Get your life because this album is just amazing, and you are going to love it. I believe that. He set the bar for the rest of this year. Okay, we getting ready to go into a new year in the next three weeks. That is crazy. Christmas is next week. I don't know what the hell I am going. I haven't even did Christmas shopping yet, but I'm getting ready to get catch my life off this damn Chris Brown album because he got his wrist. Did the folk folk tip his wrist? Hey, I mean, y'all, Chris Brown was gonna have his turn up songs like. Every since after he made fame and fortune, that boy been slammed. I mean, every album that this man has came up with, he is very, very talented. Guys, please buy more than one copy. Please buy it on iTunes. Please, it's going to be in stores tomorrow at Target, Best Buy. Y'all know Walmart, the, the, the usual. Pick it up. Uh, Just buy more than one copy. His fans is going to love it. This album is just amazing. This is Forever Brandon TV.